Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Eric, if you're new. Uh, if you like videos like this, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when live streams begin or new videos are uploaded. Uh, today, basically what I want to talk about is, uh, if you're unaware, the Minecraft RTX beta just came out. Uh, so basically Minecraft is now compatible with ray tracing, which looks really awesome. I already did a bit of a video, uh, a couple videos actually uh, showing that off a little bit. Um, but basically the word on the street right now that I've been seeing is that RTX in the beta is really only compatible with the creator maps. Uh, I would say that that's partially true in that the creator maps are where the RTX technology is best shown off and optimized. But a lot of people think that you can't make it work at all with your own worlds or your own maps. Um, actually, it is possible and that's what I would like to show you how to do today. So I'm not going to cover exactly how to get a hold of the Minecraft RTX uh, beta at the moment. There's lots of other videos you could look up for that. This is assuming that you know how to get your hands on the RTX beta and that you have the computer technology necessary, that being uh, an NVIDIA RTX 2060 or higher. So uh, make sure you, again, leave a like, subscribe, and we're going to get started. So the reason that by default the RTX technology does not generally work with your own world or your own map is that the creator maps are set up with textures that are uh, compatible with and responsive to um, the RTX lighting technology in a way that uh, gives the textures depth and makes them work well. Um, but the trick basically is you need to get access to those texture packs and they have actually been made available and a lot of people aren't aware of that. When you use the creator maps, the creator maps already kind of have the textures built in. I don't know exactly how that works, but all you have to do to get them to work in your own worlds, your own maps is to download the texture packs yourself and import them into your Minecraft Windows 10 texture pack folder. That's the complicated part. Um, it's basically the same concept as to how you add a resource pack or a texture pack in uh, Minecraft Java Edition, but uh, it's just a little bit more tucked away, basically, is what I found with uh, Minecraft Windows 10 Bedrock Edition. So uh, if you look in the description, you can find the link that I have here. The place you get the texture packs is the NVIDIA website. And you'll see that when you get to this section of the page, again, links in the description, when you get to NVIDIA and partner resource packs, you're gonna see four, they talk about four different um, texture packs. So here you have the HD decorative resource pack, the HD foundational resource pack, uh, Muddle RTX, and Razzlecore RTX. Um, so two of those are made directly by NVIDIA and two are created by Razzleberries, who I haven't really heard of until now, but um, they actually are the ones I prefer as I'll show you when we get to it. But basically, as you click on each of these, you will see them download. I'm not gonna do that again because they're already on my computer, but you'll notice they begin to download when you click on them. And the next part is really the only complicated part of the whole thing. I'm gonna show you the way to get to the Minecraft uh, Windows 10 edition texture pack folder. Yeah, you're gonna wanna type in um, percent app data percent and you're going to want to go into that folder and this actually takes you one step too far there might be a more direct way to do it but basically now you're going to click back uh, to app data right here you're going to want to hit local you are going to want to hit uh, packages which would be right here. So find packages, open that up. And uh, this is a little harder to find, but you're gonna wanna scroll down to where it says Microsoft and then it says Minecraft. It's actually right here. It says Minecraft or Microsoft.Minecraft uh, UWP and then uh, a bunch of other text, but open that up. And then you wanna go to local state. Then you wanna go to games. And then here you'll see uh, com.mojang. And then this is where the resource pack folder is. So basically once you download all of those uh, four texture packs, um, I mean, you can choose whichever ones you want. I downloaded them all and tested them all and found my preference. Uh, you're gonna wanna go to the resource packs and then they, they download as zip files and that's where you wanna export them to when you unzip them. 
Now I know in when in uh, I know in Minecraft Java edition, um, a lot of resource packs work while in a zip file. I never tried them zipped. I went ahead and unzipped them and exported them to the resource pack folder, unzipped, and it worked fine. Let me know in the comments if you try without that and it works. Um, I just went ahead and unzipped them. Uh, but uh, you'll notice I've already done this, so this is where they're all exported to. Okay, so now that we have Minecraft open, I will show you how to activate the texture packs, and it's basically just the same as you would any other texture pack in Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. So you're going to want to go down to Global Resources. So you'll notice that I already have the Razzlecore RTX resource pack activated. So uh, you can deactivate that, and you can see all of them together here. So again, here's the Razzleberries Razzlecore RTX resource pack. That one's my favorite. Here is uh, one made by the same people. This is Muddle RTX Edition. This one's also uh, a very full and uh, completed feeling, I would say, uh, texture pack, and it's uh, sort of a medieval theme. Here are the NVIDIA 2. Um, so NVIDIA HD Foundational, that one, it's sort of a mixture of high-res textures and uh, classic textures. Um, and then this one here, when I activated it, it looked basically a lot more like uh, all of the normal textures, um, but I find the NVIDIA textures in general, they feel a little more plasticky to me, a little more shiny, like the grass The grass looks more like plastic and it shines a lot more. It seems a little less realistic to me, but that's just my taste. But again, you can test them all, obviously, and uh, see what your favorite is. Again, this one's my favorite, so you're just gonna go activate. And once that's done, you can go play beta. And this one here is one I created in stream from already, so I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, the light looks lovely. We'll go outside and take a look. So yeah, you can already see the sunlight looks a lot different. You can see the god rays coming through. The water is one of the most surprising. Got some old mobs in there. You can see the way that the light sort of comes through through the water like this. It's really nice. There's a little bit of a look at my world so far with RTX. Now if we go over here, I'll give you a little bit of a look at the nether. You can see even going down the way that the purple light comes up against the walls and everything. And enter and get a good look. And I find with this texture pack, the nether looks quite good, at least in my opinion. You can see the way the lava reflects on the ceiling. Maybe it was just a glitch for me, but I found when I used the NVIDIA, the NVIDIA RTX packs, um, they didn't seem as compatible with the Nether, but then I saw other people use them and it seemed to work, so maybe I just need to try again. Um, I won't show off the end right now, but I will simply say it does work about as well, but the only problem is there is no black background or purple background as there usually is. It's all just like pure white as the sky. There we go. Well, there's a little bit of a look at how you can get the RTX technology working with your own worlds and your own maps. So I hope you enjoyed that everybody. Hopefully that helps you and uh, maybe you'll try out building some of your own worlds, at least in beta, as they continue to develop the RTX technology for Minecraft Windows 10. We will see you around in the next video. Thanks for watching.